called Siggy, and I'm the chief pilot uh, for the for the Icelandic Coast Guard. Uh, the, the history of the Coast Guard is uh, fairly complex. I recommend the book. <laughs> well, we'll become 100 years old uh, in a few years, and uh, it started actually out uh, as a uh, rescue vessel south of Iceland uh, for, for fishermen. And uh, today we have uh, large uh, Coast Guard vessels uh, and uh, three helicopters and one airplane. All of our 225s are uh, equipped similarly. It's a standard search and rescue equipped 225, as you would uh, be able to see pretty much from other search and rescue operators. We have a uh, standard IFR setup. In addition to that, we have a dual hoist, electrical and hydraulic on two aircraft and dual electrical on, on, the, on the third one. Uh, we have a uh, FLIR camera, west camera on, uh, on, the, on the nose. We have a searchlight. Uh, tracker beam on all of our aircraft. In, uh, inside we have uh, a fairly decent Euronav 7 setup as well as a standard uh, medical kit. Uh, so any uh, missions uh, beyond 10 minutes offshore uh, we, uh, we need two helicopters. Any mission uh, beyond 150 nautical miles from offshore uh, we require two helicopters and one airplane. And the airplane uh, uh, is used as top cover which means that it goes uh, uh, ahead of the hel helicopters uh, to find the best route, weather, finds the, uh, the vessel and maintains communication. Yeah, the recruitment on the manning side uh, is probably quite different from other companies. Uh, we luckily tend to keep our people. People are happy here. They're happy with their tasking and their jobs. The, the crew has, uh, you know, maybe an average working period for the Coast, Coast Guard, maybe 10 to 20 years, which is uh, fantastic in this environment. So it's a great benefit to, to keep the staff. You know, it, it's a very complex operation. We are not only doing search and rescue, we do aerial work, sling work, uh, patrol flights, uh, law enforcement. So it takes a lot of time to train people to be competent and, uh, and confident in what they're doing. The primary uh, role of the Coast Guard is, uh, is uh, maritime, search and rescue. Their secondary mission is to, is to take care of, uh, you know, uh, uh, hams and ambulance lights and we're supposed to help with uh, places that are out of reach by cars or foot you know and, and help emergency companies inland as well you know we're building masts and, and, and equipment for for broadcasting and, and radios and so forth on top of the mountains uh, and helping the law enforcement inland as well so it's quite complex i would say the percentage between inland and offshore is changing a bit uh, we used to be about you know 70 80 percent offshore but that is changing uh, mainly due to you know increased safety over the waters and uh, more tourists inland so I think the, the yeah the tasking is getting more frequent inland so so it's a, a lot of inland work at the moment 